This is a 31 day regulator clock that I got off of eBay. And this thing's pretty cool. I've got a few regulators, but this is just one of my uh, favorites. The minute hand needs to be replaced because um, it's like worn on the on the post or pivot there, so it just swings. Also, the dial is missing a couple screws. Well, they're not necessarily missing; they're just well, one's missing, but this one down here is, just doesn't screw into the the thing. There's the pendulum. It's missing uh, one of the chime rods that like, had broken off at some point. There's nothing I can do about that, but yeah. Here is another 31 day regulator clock, also made in Korea. And this one I got at a thrift shop. Not necessarily an antique store, but a thrift shop where you find stuff that's not necessarily antique. And I found this there at a at the thrift shop, and I got a really good deal at it on it. And I am a little bit congested today, so I'm sorry if I sound funny. Okay, so here is another regulator clock. This one I got at some antiques place. I don't remember where it was. As you can see, it needs to be cleaned, and it needs it badly, but it does run. You play the strike for you. It's cool, I like that sound. Let me get the pendulum going. There it goes. Here's another wind-up regulator clock, and this one needs work. And I don't have the minute hand on there. I took it off. Does this work? Yeah, it does. I took the dial off on this one because it's screwed up. So you can see someone's like messed with the screws in several other places. And I don't know what happened there. Who knows what the hell someone did to that. But anyways, um, when I get this one going, it rubs against the, uh, the thing. But you can watch it tick for a little bit. Oop, stopped. So those are my four wind-up regulator clocks. I have a fifth regulator clock, but it's not necessarily a wind-up. And it's this one over here. Yeah, thanks for watching.